but something ah, close. We could see it. Super late, super deep. Spits and he comes out way after the spit. Ten, he says. I don't, I don't know. know. Maybe ten. One judge already said yes. A couple of judges still deliberating as we look at this in slow motion to really appreciate it. And he came up high and you could see the wave was spitting and there's no way he could see where he was going. He was on braille. He's like, what, a 10? Ask the judges the question. He's still thinking. He's most probably had them before in his career and he knows the feeling. He knows what it looks like, what it feels like, and he thinks he might be on again. So then was chasing an 8.95. This is what oh. Owen did behind him. Owen's oh, going to get the best wave of the heat for sure. We haven't seen any indications for the judges yet, but it's a big set, a bomb set, a leftover from yesterday. <laughs> Perfectly deep. Where does this one go, Joey? Unbelievable ride for Owen Wright. If he already has eights and nines, BR, exactly. where are we going with this well, one? Well, you could be going perfect. It's early in the day to be going perfect. We finished the day yesterday with some a perfect score for Gabriel Medina, but everything tells me by the indication of the nines we've seen in this heat, that was significantly big. Next one's going upside down and trying to control one of the most radical takeoffs wow. of the day. McGillivray pulls off the impossible. Oh my. Oh wow. And look, all of his friends just are losing it. I do not understand how he hung on to that, Joe. That was just wild stuff. He seemed we will run out of time. Jordy Smith gets past a former event champion and his longtime rival of Julian Wilson as this one bottoms out, setting up for Flores. Spit out of a cannon. A former Tahiti champ feeling the mana in Tahiti and he'll put Kaoli Vas under pressure early in this matchup. Magnifique. That was insane. Nathan Hedge with priority in the priority heat. He's out there in the white jersey. And scratching into this one. Air drops into it. Big in blast there? from the barrel and oh! comes out of it. Nathan Hedge defying gravity. Well, I told you it wasn't over yet. Got to be diligent about every single moment out here. Andre in a thick barrel oh! close up of the phone ball. Hands behind the back again, and Jess and Andre is having a good time out there in heavy conditions. I feel like that could eclipse the 8.5 and um, make things really, really difficult for David Silva. That was so deep. The silver medalist in the Olympic Games is now setting up a potential strike to try to get the 7.41. Kanoa grabs the rail, lunges into the first section. It's staying wide open. Wow. Igarashi stands tall for the exit. And lets some of the emotion out with two minutes to go. Who's a part of the non-priority heat, now a bigger set. Setting up for Owen Wright. This thing going inside out behind him. Owen has to celebrate once again. 883 on his way before. I think that seven's long gone. Tahiti Pro here at Te Aupo'o. A miracle of the surf world. Another heat. Heat number six in the water. And it is Kylie Belly scratching into this one. Pulling into a big, thick cavern. Where is he, Belly? And he exits. Yes. Well, last night's surf really helped him out because he got a wave just like that. And now, first wave of this heat, he finds himself a massive score. Oh, so many big names sometimes just fall off tour in their first strike. So Rio's got a lot to be proud of. How about this cave for John Florence? The show continues for the man from the North Shore of Oahu. Business, but, you know, it's, we'll see if he can adjust. Now nine feet this section and pulling in. Great control after the spit for Seth Moniz. Who is having a blast in these conditions today. Belly. Live, and Kyle <laughs> comes through that section, answering back to Connor Coffin, who just clocked in an 8.83. Look at this channel view going below Ooh, sea yeah. level. Oh, he's deep. Oh, what was that? Oh, oh, oh. That's when you're just feeling it, and you're just going, yeah. Sometimes the approach seems impossible as we saw Kelly eject in the heat before. Looking straight down, locking in Michelle Perez. Wow. In the belly of the beast. And he 
He's got to feel like a superhero. If I look at the, the lineup of surfers in this event, I would say that Nathan Hedge would be by far the... Uh, oh, look at this. Deep one here, setting up for Jack Robinson. This is what we came to Tahiti for. Jack gets a bomb. As I thought, and here's Nathan Hedge live. Back, way back in the barrel, way back, and and next set for Nathan Hedge. Oh, we had the same scream. Oh my God. That was nuts. Thanks for being with us, Joe Turpel, with two-time Survivor Castaway. <laughs> Felicity charges big waves, does a lot of great things as we're watching Jack Robinson pull into a beast of a wave. And showing off that unbelievable ability inside the tube. Control that rail, get spit out. Strider, how are you feeling? Swings, get another completion. Dude, let's see if he can better a 5-3-3 oh, now. Go. Deep in the streets, go son, go. Wilson. Oh yes. <laughs> That was it, dude. The guys, this guy, he's got it, man. He's, he's got that. Kyo's turn. Slap to slide, and he is somehow holding on to that rail. And he will just hoot himself out. These guys can't help it. Those are pure claims coming from their guts of adrenaline, knowing that this is a special day in surfing history. He looks really comfortable. And Jack Freestone. No hand Jack, he's been dominating. Jack with priority. Trying to get the lead off Kyle Nabelli, and Nabelli takes this wave. Kyle locking in and getting a beautiful section to kick out of to celebrate. How radical this wave is, here's another one. As we see the spit, and coming from behind it is Jordy Smith. Starting to feel it now. Started off with waiting for an opportunity. Took a couple of smaller ones and now he's getting more of what he came for on finals day. His way before, like he felt BL 4.83. And that will be much better than that four point Ranger to put pressure onto Souza at 15 minutes on the clock. Caitlin could have taken that one, but Fahine was just positioned a little bit further in. Had the option to take it. And now chipping in is the Californian setting up a big section. Katie Simmers with her head down, comes flying out, lays down a carve and kicks out to the safety of the channel. A brilliant ride for world number five. Holy smokes. That was major. <laughs> Compressed on the bottom, hit his, his foot into a kind of a, a, a hole and kind of twisted his knee a little bit, he said. He was checking on the way back out, but he just got another wave. He looked pretty solid. Didn't look like it was affecting him, and he's going to shake it off. Thank you, Strider, as we check out a replay of that 9.23. Oh. And Medina <laughs> vaulting over Strider Wazalewski in the channel. And whoa, Baron Mamias falls from the sky into the oh. barrel and spit out. That was epic. Oh. That was epic. And that's what this low tide is doing. Literally, you talked about falling out of the sky. He fell six, eight feet out of the top of that wave, straight into the barrel. It's got us laughing at him, smiling at him, Leo, right? Here we go, the souls on the comeback. Spits, no! the souls out. 8.14, and he loves it. Did he do enough? We're gonna see, as the judges have some really, really good surfing to ponder, Bartik. So much goes on in between the waves that are ridden, especially in this final with these two. Repeat of the matchup last oh. year. Owen wants payback from 2018. Launches himself into a Watch solid out. cavern. Yeah! Everybody comes flying out. There's the emotion from Owen Wright. Because he knows he was ultra deep on that left-hander. 419 to go. A 7-2-1 puts him out in first. Kelly Slater moving on into the quarterfinals. Jack Robinson now in the priority situation, striking. Oh, high line, yanks up on the rail. What? Yanks it for Jack Robinson, right on the hooter as the priority heat ended, and Jack Robbo's heat went into the priority heat. Unbelievable. Did you see how high he got? That was definitely, he, he was like his board was vertical on the face and somehow able to ride over the top of the foam ball and get himself through that one. Only needed a 2-5. Next wave for Owens in Atlanta. Chatty's head deep in the pit. A choke. Oh, right. Well, Owens just got an equalizer right there. 
now the battle for priority. Remember, Jaddy had to wear that extra wave on the head, so Owen's free to just stroke his way back into the lineup. You know, and again, it looked like the opportunity that way was a three or a four on it, and uh, he surfed it up in a sense by getting a 4.17, so good job there by Baron. Here comes Gabe, way back. Plowing through a cavern and comes out, no problem. Gabe Medina <laughs> over the foam ball. Score that. Uh, wow. And again, one of those things where you're like, is he going to make it? It's kind of, you know, it's gone. There's not a whole lot of room in there. And sure enough, right out of the hole, too. Right out the center of it. So I need to change my surfing? Or yeah. I mean, that's what. As we wow. look at Jadson on a big section. Oh, wow. Now a what do you do? See, so now way. they got to compare Jadson's first one. Uh, for <laughs> and an air over the over the sled. Kelly asking about Maddie's 10 point ride. As we look at Griffin Colapinto, big launch into the first section. Super D Colapinto yes. into the sunshine in Tahiti. What a great time to be watching this event. But look at this. Oh, this happened during the break with Slater. A bomb and just such an intense wave. And look at the scores that have been posted. A nine-point ride as he high-fives, but look at this thing, or 9.0. As you see, look at this. Underneath, beautifully done by Kelly Slater. Late drop, everything there, in line, and you said it, just uh, is going out there, frothing out of his skin because he wanted to do this exact moment. 11-time world champ, five-time champ in Tahiti, we get to see the poetry, the terrifying beauty that is Tehupo and the approach with Kelly Slater under a thick cavern and the spit where he exits. You see how he used his butt, he tapped it as he was dropping in there just to slow him down ever so slightly. Tehupo comes to life from the channel, but uh -oh. Pupo's on a bigger one. Over the foam ball, Miguel comes out into the channel. Unbelievable. Just, there was a statement in the way he stood. Oh, just catching up with Jack Freestone, who continues to <laughs> drop into bombs and absolutely challenged the 11 time world champ Kelly Slater, kicking out on the channel. And Jack Freestone's feeling pretty good about it as he paddles by Strider. Jadson's Woo! turn slides right into a bomb. Andre! to come free into the channel. A shootout between two talented goofy foots that qualified together.